Good morning, this is Robin Bremer, the author of Kingdom Living Series, Bible Study Series, and the Kingdom uh, Pocket Guide Studies. And today I just want to share with you something that will help you build it, your faith to raise the dead. And we are supposed to be raising the dead, that's part of being a Christian, healing the sick, casting out demons, cleansing the lepers, and raising the dead. And oftentimes raising the dead is something that is not preached. And it's... Uh, it's just so, it's something that's missed out on because it should be the same as healing the sick, casting out demons because we are a supernatural created in the image of God and so often we just think of ourselves as Christians are people that are try to do good things and be right, do right and be right and are morally correct and have good behavior when being a Christian isn't, that's the fruit of being a Christian. but. The root of being a Christian is we're created in God's image, and we have God's nature. We have God's DNA. We are supernatural like God. We speak and things happen. Of course, we don't see that happening all the time because our faith isn't there. Our faith is lacking in, in the area of knowing who we are in Christ, so we don't walk in the power we could walk in. But one of the things that we can do is uh, walk in... Um, raising the dead and that's something that's not often taught and that's something I like to teach uh, it's just something that God put on my heart and it's given me revelation knowledge about that I've written about in several of my books and that's raising people from the dead and one of the things recently he's given me to empower me and to give revelation and excitement about raising the dead is this scripture he, I confess this scripture and I meditate and think on this scripture but recently he's kind of opened up my mind to it and I want to share with you what he's shared with me and it's Romans 8 11 it says the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you who also gives gives life to your mortal body through his spirit and there's a couple there's like a sentence in there that I I didn't say because it's kind of irrelevant to what I want to share with you and so that's Romans 8, 11, and it says the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Now, there's other places in the Bible where it talks about Jesus. I mean, it talks about the Holy Spirit. And it calls him the spirit of holiness. It calls him our, the spirit, our teacher. It calls him uh, Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. It talks about him in fire. But here, I want to point out that he specifically says, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead. He's pointing out that he raised Christ from the dead. And when you think about that, it's saying that he raised Jesus from being physically dead. His flesh was dead from being beaten. His flesh was dead. He was beaten. He was, um, his spear was in his side. He had a crown of thorn on, thorns on his head. He carried every sickness and every disease. And we... I just want to point out to you in that scripture is that he said who raised Christ from the dead. Uh, that is the way that he, the terminology and the definition, description that he used to describe the Holy Spirit at this time. Then he goes on to say that that same spirit dwells inside of you and gives life to your, and then he says mortal flesh. In other words, Again, he's pointing out that physical life comes from the spirit realm. Physical life comes from the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit lives in you and he gives physical life, not just spiritual life, but physical life. And he points out to your mortal body, to your mortal flesh. In other words, that same spirit that raised Christ flesh that was rotten and stinking, been dead three days, um, that same uh, spirit that made his dead, rotten flesh that was beaten, had sickness and disease on it, that had a, a spear in his side, that had, had uh, all that mess all over him, he took that flesh and he made that flesh alive. And that same spirit lives inside of us, making our flesh alive. And that Holy Spirit is living in us to empower us and the thing that got me excited about the whole scripture is the fact that that same spirit is in me coming out of me in rivers of living water and